in addition to don't say gay and the other copycat bills that are coming uh, across governor's desks throughout the country which is a way to not just target gay uh, trans people but target gay people um but it's also a way to kind of grease the runways for the more uh, anti-trans bathroom bills that's going to that's circulating throughout the country well a resurgence of uh, of those um as opposed to these broad bans of trans athletes in order to continue to other them in certain uh high school sports because conservatives now care so much about the integrity of high school swim meets for girls that's the number one galvanizing force do we uh have any instances in our communities of of uh, trans athletes having an unfair competitive advantage and beating our girls. And so they get the silver medal as opposed to the gold. Uh, no, not necessarily, but we're still gonna pass this anyway. I mean, in Utah, the Republican governor to his credit and, uh, vetoed the legislation when it first came about. And I think it might've overridden his veto anyway, Bradley, do you mind checking on that? Um, not, not, not exactly sure uh, off the top of my head. But the reason that he vetoed it was because he said there are four trans athletes in the country and only or in, in my state right now. competing, yeah. And only one trans girl con uh, participating in sports. So that's one person for this legislation to target them. Yeah. One child. The legislature overrode his veto in late March. But yeah, like you said, like his statement was literally like. I just want these kids to be alive. Like, right. I don't, you know, there's four of them. Also, <laughs> a note on that. I think the NBA uh, has changed this, but initially they moved the um, All-Star game, I think from North Carolina or maybe it was Georgia, or, uh, somewhere where there was one of these bills. Uh, maybe it was Florida. I'm not sure. North Carolina, the initial bathroom bill from years ago? No, no, recently. And they moved it to Utah and then Utah did this as well. And I think that Utah is going to lose the All-Star game as well, which is uh, as it should be. So anyway, um, Tennessee is, despite like that very uh, well said, I think, veto and, and the case that the, the Utah governor laid out, Tennessee is still going forward with this legislation. And here uh, are two Tennessee state senators interacting where the simple question is asked, do you even know how many trans athletes there are in Tennessee? Who are you targeting with this? Here's this interaction. I'm curious if the sponsor had like has relationships or has spoken to anyone in the, uh, like who is transgender about this legislation, and and tried to actually understand what the, their thoughts are. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And no, I have not, but certainly had this bill in the committee and and heard testimony. But the whole purpose of the bill again is to create that level playing field so that we don't discriminate against anyone. How many transgender athletes are competing in women's sports in Tennessee at the middle, high, or collegiate level? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I don't know of any in Tennessee, but we've certainly all seen them competing in other states. Leah Thomas, the swimmer that won the 500 meter free, free, freestyle, I believe was what yeah, she Yeah, it really won. cares about that. He won. Yeah. I don't know of a personal example in Tennessee <laughs> but we don't want it to happen in Tennessee. Just like the Olympic Committee, just like the TWS, they have a lot of issues that they're working through as this uh, concerning the participation of transgender youth and young people in sports. But there's a way to do that in an individualized way that makes sure that you are guaranteeing safety to make sure that you're protecting the integrity of competition. But like, that's not what we're doing here. We're just drawing a bright line rule saying no. Well, this is stupid too, but anyway. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't love that, that the uh, rebuttal there from that Democrat, but he is a Democrat in Tennessee, so he's doing the best he can. Um, yeah, the couldn't come up with an example. Didn't speak to a trans person. Had to come up with the one hot button example of Leah Thomas uh, in in that swim meet that happened weeks ago, which you know Trump is still hosting rallies about. Like th this is bigotry. They're, they're sing singling out individual cases to make broad legislation that targets trans kids and continues to other them. 
stay in the closet. And if you don't stay in the closet, here's codified legislation that shows that you're wrong and you're other. And the state has passed it and your classmates have the right to bully you and mock you and drive you to a mental health crisis. And we sanction that as state lawmakers. That's what this is. And it's going to be extremely invasive as they try to uh, enforce it. Because if you, you mentioned the Olympics there, <clears throat> the Olympics have this like testosterone sort of testing regimen, which seems extremely like convoluted and complicated and like problematic, frankly. Yes. And so this whole thing with Marsha Blackburn and talk, asking uh, Ketanji Brown Jackson, what the definition of a woman is. Well, it's actually pretty difficult, it turns out, when you have to uh, define that. And it comes into, what does these guys want? Do they want to inspect the genitals of uh, any sort of high school athlete to make sure that they're on the right uh, side of things? Are we going to do testosterone testing for kids now? Like, what What exactly, because it, it is, they want it to be as, because it's ultimately uh, an appeal to fundamentalism. Uh, they want it to be really simple, but it's going to be really invasive and disgusting. And they act like testosterone is our steroids. I mean, wh that's one of the, what, six gender indicators that you uh, you spoke about a few yeah. weeks ago. And it's just, it's like, there's, testosterone is not uh, like, you know, whatever uh, the Hulk <laughs> takes to turn into to himself or what how it's what, not uh, spin whatever it. chemical uh, imbalance is created in terms of like to to get him to turn into the hulk so i mean it's just it it's it's ridiculous and it's dangerous frosted tipo tip o'neill uh the <laughs> The CPC has endorsed Chantel Brown over Nina Turner. Apparently, Brown joined the CPC in January. What a joke. Yeah. Yeah, we need to do more smoke on Chantel Brown, who uh, was elected supposedly to get Joe Biden's back somehow, whatever that means, and is now currently uh, paying off um, the money that she got from the Democratic majority for Israel uh, by trying to concern troll the Iran deal out of place. Uh, so uh, Chantel Brown and the Democratic majority for Israel, um, both of these things are problems that need addressing and uh, and con continued scrutiny. Yeah, and it's just, it's, um, look, they're going to endorse their incumbents, right? I think it's wrong, but this is why the CPC needs higher standards. That's my, like, number one. It, a smaller club. Much smaller club. Yep. Dave from Jamaica, these anti-trans madness piss, it pisses me so off, uh, off so much. Um, <laughs> not only does un it unfairly affect trans people, it also affects women of color. Christine um, Moba got banned from the 400 meter due to high natural testosterone levels. Yeah, yeah it's insane. Punch drunk pulpit. Call me a bigot if you want, but I just can't support giving children lethal doses of gamma radiation. That's what I was trying to think of. My new name. Charlie Kirk asserts that tall buildings make people liberal. The higher the building, the more liberal the voter. It just is. The closer to the ground you are, the more conservative you are. Genius. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be news for um, Saudi Arabia. <laughs> Dubai. Glass Eagle. Great call on CRT. More people should move from saying it's not taught to defending it on its merits. Not my favorite dude, but people who the judge has done that effectively with infrastructure history. Yes. No, it has. You have to make the counter claim, counter accusation, which is that these people want to enforce mythology onto kids. Like that's the problem that they have with CRT is it attacks their mythology. John in Omaha, there should be a sound drop of solidarity forever when you break good union news. It's a good idea. Rob. It is very, very disturbing when I hear the millionaire or billionaire word. And I told them to stop it. Knock it off. Knock it off. Who is that? That's a Klubeck, who was a, uh, I forgot his first name, actually. It's been a while. But he's the guy who went on MSNBC and said Bernie was being. Yeah, bad. I remember that. Stephen Klubeck, American businessman and substantial donor to the Democratic Party, is founder and chairman of executive officer of timeshare company Diamond Resorts. That's right. 
Teacher Dan, why do men have nipples if it's them ladies that use the boobies for feeding those babies? What is a real man even? Should they get my nipples removed? Yeah, you can't. Well, whatever you do, don't compete in sports if you have nipples. It's illegal. Mark the shark, whatever, Emma. Emma, those unionized Starbucks workers would probably punch you in the face. (laughs) (laughs) It's a good point. 